things this way for the future. Now nearing the final stages of its development, the French Aero train will be a considerable boon to intercity commuters when it's brought into service. A party of 80 journalists were the passengers for this trial run on the 12-mile experimental track near Cheville. Riding on an air cushion along the raised central track, it operates on the same principle as a hovercraft. Modern interior decor and luxurious seating give passengers much the same feeling as riding in a jet aircraft. Built to achieve a normal cruising speed of just over 100 miles an hour, the aero train achieved nearly double that speed on test runs. Britain, too, is developing a similar train which could halve the travelling time between London and our other major cities. But a nationwide aero train system would be too expensive, so it will never completely replace the conventional system. For more than 140 years, young Spanish